controversial topic of photo radar is once again center stage at the Arizona legislature. Three bills are now under consideration at the Capitol, and each would mean big changes. Cronkite News reporter Taya Vitek talked to one of the sponsors and joins us live to break the bills down. Opponents of photo enforcement at the state legislature call into question the cost, process, and even the constitutionality of the practice. The people of Paradise Valley have lived with the red light cameras and photo radar longer than anyone else in the country. According to the town, it was the first to install the systems back in the mid 80s. But State Senator Kelly Ward believes photo enforcement systems violate a citizen's right to privacy. I think photo radar is unconstitutional. I think that it's tracking people who are innocent while trying to catch people who are breaking the law. That's why she's sponsoring a bill that would eliminate the system statewide. She's also skeptical of claims that the systems promote safe driving. I think that there are studies out there that show red light cameras, especially in intersections, actually make those intersections less safe than they would be without it, especially if that uh, yellow light is a little shorter than people might expect. Ward's Senate bill designed to get rid of photo radar is one of three before lawmakers. House Bill 2221 would make it so failing to appear in court for a photo radar violation would not result in a suspended license. And HB 2564 would require that uniformed officers operate the devices at the scene instead of automated systems and contract workers. Senator Ward says eliminating the systems altogether makes the most sense of all. If we already have law enforcement officials that are available to man cameras, I think they could just be on the streets patrolling and catching people who are doing things wrong. Senator Ward's bill, it, bill has already passed committee. We'll continue to track its progress as well as other bills in the weeks ahead. Live in downtown Phoenix, Tavi Tech, Cronkite News.